In this video, I am going to show you how to use the software and start cutting with a machine. All softwares are open source and completely free to download. First, we have to install the Arduino IDE software. We are installing Arduino IDE to get the board driver. Click on install. Next, we have to download the Universal G Code Center. After downloading, extract the zip file. Open the folder. Open bin folder. This is where we open the application. Create a shortcut, then cut and paste it onto the desktop. In this way, we don't have to always go to this folder to open this software. Now install the Inkscape. You have to be careful here. Do not install the latest version of Inkscape, the version we have to install is 0.92. So click on this 0.92. Now we can see it's showing 0.92. Download and install Inkscape. Installation is completed, click on finish. This will automatically open the Inkscape. Now we have to add two extensions. Link to download this extension zip file will be in the video description. Click on download. Extract this zip file. Open the folder, copy all the files in the folder. Then right click on the Inkscape and open file location. Share, extension. Paste it here. Click on replace the file in the destination. First, we have to convert an image into the cutting path. For that open the Inkscape software. First, you have to change the page size. Click on files, then on document properties. Change the width and height according to the foam sheet size. I am going to use a 1000x 500mm foam sheet. As you can see, this is our foam sheet size. I have already downloaded some images from Google. Let's import this image to the Inkscape software. For that, drag and drop the image then press OK. This is a normal JPG image, which we have to convert to a path which creates an outline of the image. To do that, right click on the image, then trace bitmap. Click on the live preview. If you want to increase the brightness of the image, you can also increase the threshold. Most of the time, you don't have to adjust this. Then click OK and close it. Now we have two images. One is the original JPG image, and the other is the path image that we created. If you don't know which is the JPG and the path image, select this tool and hover over the images. As you can see, when I am hovering over this image, the outline is getting highlighted. Which means this is the path image. Select the original image and press the delete key to delete it. Place this wherever you want and change the size by dragging this corner while holding the control key on the keyboard. To export this to G-Code, click on Extensions, Firxadraw Tools, Generate Pen Servo, change the drawing speed to 10,000. Here we have to paste the directory of the folder where you want to save the G-Code. Let's create a new folder here. I am going to name it Inkscape G-Code. Open this folder and click here. And copy this directory. And paste it here. You have to only do this once. Next time it will be here. You can change the file name. But make sure you don't change the .G-Code at the end. Click on Apply. Now let's open the folder. As you can see, this is the G-Code file. Now, open the Universal G-Code Sender. Click on the file icon and select the G-Code file that we created earlier. And click on Open. But here, there is one problem. The cutting is starting from the bottom, which is not good. We want the hot wire to go to the top of the foam sheet and start the cutting. So let's go back to Inkscape. Close this. To undo this, press Ctrl plus E on the keyboard. In order to create the cut from the top of the star, click on this rectangle tool. Create a thin rectangle from the star to the top and create one on the left side. Now let's use this path tool and hover over the rectangle. As you can see that these rectangles are not connected. All of them are separate. We need to make all of this into one single path. To do that, drag and select the full image and click on path and click on union. Now you can see everything is connected. Now we have to create a starting point. Hold control and scroll to zoom. Click on this and select this node and click on this icon, break path at selected nodes. Now this will be the starting point. Now we have to export this to G-Code. 
Drag and select the image, extensions, for Axidraw tools, generate pen servo, and apply. Then open the G-code sender and import the G-code. Now you can see the cutting starts from the top of the foam sheet. Now plug in the power adapter and the USB cable to the machine. Move both of the axes to the bottom left side of the machine. Be careful when you are manually moving the axis, do it slowly, otherwise, the motor will generate a reverse current and damage the electronics. Now place the foam sheet in the machine. Turn on the motor enabling switch and the Nichrome wire switch. This is where we adjust the temperature of the Nichrome wire. Turning to the right increases the temperature. You have to adjust the temperature according to the speed of the machine and the material type you are cutting. Be careful when you are increasing the temperature too much, the Nichrome wire will melt and break. Open the universal G-code sender to connect the machine. We have to click on reset and we have to select the port of the machine. If you don't know which is the machine's port, you can disconnect the USB cable from the machine, click on refresh, and check the port number. Now you can see only two ports. Now plug back in the USB cable and refresh. So this is the port of the machine. Select that and click on the connect icon. You can move the axis from there. To do that, you have to change these values. Set the step size XY to 10 and the feed rate to 10,000. Click on the file icon and open the G-code. If you want to move the axis, click on Y+. This can be useful to see where this part of the cut will be. To bring it back to the zero position, click on return to zero. If you don't understand what I have just said, just click on reset zero before starting the cutting process. Then click on this end icon. The machine will then start the cutting process. This is the real speed of the machine. The speed of the machine can be adjusted. I will show you how to increase the speed of the machine at the end of this video. Now you can see we got the perfect cut. Now let's try another image. Drag and drop the image into Inkscape. Right click and select Trace Bitmap. Close after clicking OK. Delete the original image. By dragging while holding the control key, you can adjust the size. The difference here is there is a portion inside this that the machine has to cut. So we have to create a cut. So the hot wire can go inside the part and do the cutting and go out. In order to do that, select the rectangle tool. You can put the cut in anywhere you want. And try to make the rectangle as thin as possible, so the cut won't show up that much in the final process. Now I have created a thin rectangle. After that, hold the shift key on the keyboard and click on the image. Now both the image and the rectangle are selected. Click on path. Click on difference. Now the cut is created. Let's add a starting point. Create a rectangle touching the image. After that hold shift and select the image and click on path. Union. Now you can see that everything is connected. Let's create a starting point here. Click on this, click on the node, click on break path at selected nodes. Now let's export this. Select this, extension, for Axidraw tools, generate pen servo, change the name, click on apply. Now let's place the fresh side of the foam sheet. Open the universal G code sender. Click on connect. Click on Open. Select the G-code. Click on Reset Zero. Click on Send. Now the machine will start the cutting.
Now let's try this image. Right click and click on trace bitmap. This is an inverted image, so click on invert image to invert the image. Click on OK. And delete the original image. Drag the corner while holding the control key for uniform scaling. As you can see, there are two closed part. So we have to create two cuts in this image so the hot wire can go inside and do the cutting. To zoom, hold down the control key and the scroll. Here, select the rectangle tool and create a thin rectangle. Hold shift and click on the image, path, difference. Let's create another cut here. There is also one more problem with this. This piece is not connected to anything. So if we cut this, this piece will fall out. So let's join this piece. Use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle that connects this piece to the main part. Hold shift and click on the image and click on union to join. Now you can see this is a single piece. Now let's create a starting point. Click on this node, click on break path at selected node, now let's export this to G-code. Click on apply. Open universal G-code sender, click on connect. Open the G-code. Click on reset zero, click on send. Now let's cut some text. First set the foam sheet size. Select the text tool and write some text. Let's increase the font size and change the font style. Place the text where you want. With the text, you have to first convert it into a path. To do that, select the text, click on path, click on object to path. Now you can see the text is converted into a path. Now we have to join these letters. Select the rectangle tool and create a thin rectangle across the letters. Let's also add the rectangle for the starting point here. Now select the path tool and drag and select all the text in the rectangle after that, hold the shift key and select all the letters one by one. Now everything is selected. To join all of this together, click on path, click on the union. Now you can see everything is connected and it's converted into a single path. Here you can see there is three inside part we have to cut. Inside the A, R, Q, so let's make cut on each of the letters so the hot wire can go inside and do the cutting. Use the rectangle tool and create a thin rectangle here. Hold the shift, select the text, click on path, click on difference. Now do the same for the R and Q. Now let's add the starting point, click on this, select this node, click on break path of selected nodes. Now export to G code. Open Universal G Code Sender. Select the file. Click on Reset 0 and click on Send.
Now let's try with text and an image. Using the text tool, type some text and select the text. Click on path, object to path. Now let's import an image. Click on OK. Right click, trace bitmap, live preview, click on OK and delete the original image. And let's place it near the text. Now we have to collect all of this together. So select the rectangle tool, make a long rectangle and connect all the letters and the image to this rectangle, using small rectangles. Now we have to make this into a single path, for that, drag and select like this, and hold shift and select all of the letters. Now click on path, union. Now let's create a cut using the rectangle tool for the A, R, Q and for the image, so the hot wire can go inside and cut. Hold Ctrl and scroll for zoom, create a thin rectangle, hold shift, select the text, click on path, difference. Now do the same for R, Q and on the image. Now create a starting point. Now let's join this. Create a starting point. Now let's export this to G-code. Open the G-code sender, select the file. Click on reset 0 and click on send. Now let's see how to increase the speed of the machine. First, connect the machine. Click on machine. Firmware settings. Scroll down, in this, you have to adjust the x-axis acceleration. y-axis acceleration. z-axis acceleration. Increasing the value increases the speed, let's change it to 1500. You have to change x, y, z altogether. And you can also adjust the feed rate for fine-tuning the speed and click on save. 